And earlier this month, Nobel Prize winning economist Paul Krugman wrote an in-depth story for the New York Times Magazine on how modern day economists have misapplied theories to make incorrect judgments about the economy. He titled his piece, How Did Economists Get It So Wrong? It was the number one story on the New York Times.com for a really long time and got a lot of attention. Well, University of Chicago Booth School of Business Finance professor John Cochran has written a response. He calls it how did Paul Krugman get it so wrong? And he joins us now from Chicago. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. Okay, so in, the, in your story, you write this blistering reply to uh, this Nobel Prize winner, and you say Krugman is not doing his job at the end. And I want to ask you, what is his job, and why is he not doing it? Well, let me back up. If any of your viewers want to read this stuff, you can Google me at John H. Cochran and find my response. And, of course, Paul is on the New York Times. Uh, not doing his job. Um, I viewed Paul's job as explaining to uh, sensible, liberal readers what's going on in the world of economics, and he wasn't doing that. He was uh, casting a lot of insults at us and not really saying much useful about what's going on in the world of economics. And you use some pretty strong language uh, when you're talking about him. I want to cite a couple of passages from what you wrote so people can really understand what we're talking about if they haven't read it yet. So, quote, rather than source professional writing, Krugman makes stuff up, boldly putting words in people's mouth. Uh, that's one quote. We also have the biggest and saddest news of the piece. Paul Krugman has no interesting ideas whatsoever about what caused our financial problems. Also, thinking through this sort of thing and explaining it is much harder than just tarring your enemies with out-of-context quotes. Uh, let's break down some of your points here. You center on efficient okay. markets associated with the Chicago School. What do you think Krugman got wrong in disparaging efficient markets? Uh, well, he didn't really say anything deep about it other than he doesn't think markets are efficient. Uh, efficient markets is a very simple idea. It's basically markets are competitive and it's awfully hard to make money. Uh, which I think everybody knows. It's awfully hard to make money on the stock markets. It says, it, the, the prime thing efficient market says is that nobody can predict where markets are going. If you could, it would be awfully easy to make money on markets. Uh, so Paul, he doesn't like that, but he doesn't have much to say about it. And there's, there's an enormous amount of empirical evidence, serious thought about that, that he just didn't address. And you think, uh, you suggest he thinks that repeated stimulus is the silver bullet to recovery. Why should we disagree? Uh, well, there's lots of serious work about stimulus, not just my opinion, not just your opinion, not just did somebody's blog post say something or other about it. Uh, there's, there's a lot. We've been working for 40 years on exactly when and how does stimulus work. The bigger problem I saw with the piece was that we've had this fascinating, to an economist and, and troublesome to people in the world, crisis for the last year. And all Krugman had to say about it is, well, people were irrational. Somehow the government is really rational, and it can take care of it, and the government should spend like a drunken sailor to stop it. That's it. That seemed pretty empty compared to all the interesting things I see going on with our financial system. Wouldn't it be worse if they hadn't spent all that money on the stimulus? When the crisis I don't think so. I'm, let, let's maybe is this the point to get into a stimulus debate? I think the, my opinion and the consensus of a lot of people is that fiscal stimulus is uh, much. It's it. It's a very unlikely. It's very unlikely to work. It's unlikely to do much good and for obvious reasons. If I borrow a dollar from you and give it to somebody else, he's got the money, but you don't. So how how is that going to do much good? Okay, let me ask you this. Do you not think that he had a compelling point that economists failed to see this coming? Don't economists deserve some of the blame? Oh, you bet economists failed to see this coming. Everybody failed to see this coming. I don't think any, no economist I know ever, ever pretended that he knew how to see bank runs coming. If you could see this stuff coming, if anyone could see this stuff coming, it wouldn't happen. So that, that's not the measure of anything. These things are unpredictable. Uh, what economists do is try to understand the mechanics of how these things work, how we should set systems up so it doesn't happen again, uh, how we should avoid all the, all the panic and, and other problems that come with it. But nobody ever pretended that we could see these things coming. Okay, so you're a proponent of sort of unfettered free market capitalism, am I correct? I'm, I'm not doctrinaire. I look at the evidence. I look at the theory. I look at what hangs together. Uh, in many, many cases, uh, freer markets tend to work a lot better than governments running things. I think that's the judgment of history. That's not a belief or a doctrine. Okay, John Cochran, thank you so much for giving us your point of view. It's causing a lot of people to really be excited on the Internet and engage in this debate. We appreciate it.